to Bombshell Beauty. My name is Yolanda in case you're new to my channel. Today is going to be my June girly goodies for the month. I've decided to do a monthly girly goodies video instead of almost every time I video in a month I usually do a haul. Um, I'm trying to like make it not so many haul videos during the week if I record in the week. Um, so Oh, it's so hot today. I can't stand it. Um, I tried not to do too much makeup, but I still ended up full face. I just can't help myself wearing the Gwen Stefani um, matte lipstick, the 714, which I don't think they even do this color anymore. I know the lines discontinued for Gwen Stefani because it was a limited edition, but I could have sworn they still did, Urban Decay still did um, the 714 shade, which is this really pretty red, and I've almost, it's getting low. I'm going to have to check again, maybe they still have it, just not in the stores. Um, so I'll get down to it. I will start with my beauty stuff first. Let me organize here because I'm never organized. First I got um, a set of exfoliating bath mitts. I like to use these in the bath when I'm um, exfoliating my skin and everything. And I usually put them in the washer machine um, with the washcloths when I clean them. Um, I got this argon oil and charcoal peel off face mask. Uh, this is the packaging, just, it's by Spa, bleh, by Spa Life, and it's just a tube of probably black mess, but I wanted to try something different than a regular peel-off mask, just to get a little bit extra, anything left over from my makeup and everything out of my skin, maybe do it once a month. That was $2.99. I got this from where I work. Most of this stuff I got from work. Um, and then I got, I did a few, maybe a month ago, I did my Just Peachy makeup tutorial. And at work we got this, it's probably a dupe to um, my mind goes blank anytime I try to mention any makeup brand. But it's pretty as a peach uh, eyeshadow palette. This was $4.99 and all the pretty peach colors all in one little palette instead of me running through every different palette I had to find the perfect colors. <laughs> um, but they're very pretty. I do tend on doing a tutorial with these and just using them in my everyday makeup. I got mesmerizing nail, mermazing nails. They're like, they're by Paris Hilton, which I'm not a fan of Paris Hilton usually, but I just like the shades of these. Um, I did not open the package yet, so it's going to probably be hard to see, but they're very frosty shades. And I just love the the packaged, um, the way the bottles look. They remind me of some that my mom used to have when I, I remember her little. having these nail polish bottles that were the small bottle, but they had like the really long um, applicator stick in the polish. And I just love the pale shades right now. I'm into these frosty sheer shades because I don't paint my nails like I used to. I just don't have it the time it just seems like and I always wait till late in the evening to do them and then they just end up a mess so I've been doing a lot of frosty shades because they don't they're not noticeable as much when you mess them up and of course I had to get a Marilyn Monroe something uh, this is a little um, travel size makeup brush set and the brushes are very cheaply like the bristles and the brush look very very cheap I will be right back my husband's gone. sorry about that my husband had put his uh, cases of beer in the freezer just to keep them cold get them a little bit colder and 
he got called out to do a job, so he called to have me take him out before they froze. Okay, so anyway, where was I? Uh, I got this Marilyn Monroe little brush set. Um, the brushes, the bristles on them are a little bit cheap looking, but you can probably replace them with your favorite ones. But it comes with this little um, carrying case for your brushes or whatever you want to put in there that will fit. I believe it has a mirror on the inside. I should have opened this before filming, but you know, I've never prepared ever. <laughs> so, um, I got a new paddle brush. I just had to have this sparkly, girly paddle brush. I needed a new one, so I went with one a little bit bigger to help comb out curls and break up hair spray and things like that. I bought a miniature pink one for my purse because sometimes when you've been at an all day or event or whatever and sometimes your hair, your curls will come apart or something messes up with your hair, you don't get it, you don't have nothing to, well I, for me, I'm the one that never has anything to fix her hair with if something goes wrong. I bought, I don't think I've shown these in another video, I'm worried that I've shown some things because it's been a while since I've filmed or posted, but I got these cute little red sunglasses to match a bag I'm about to show you in a little bit. They're just really cute. I think they're just adorable and I don't have any red um, sunglasses. And then I've got these three lipsticks. I'm not a fan of Katy Perry. I don't know what the deal is. I think she had said something about another artist that I just felt was just mean. She was, and I think that's what put me off her. I figured is her head just getting a little bit too big from all her success that she feels the need to not, it's not but Taylor I just can't Swift, think it, was it, was, it was in an article or t on a TV thingy. But she has, um, her makeup does look like it's nice for Maybelline. So I got three of her lipsticks, and they're the KT Cat Matte ones. And uh, this one is called Cat Call, and it's a lovely rosy red. And it's like a rosy pink red, and it is very nice. It doesn't really go matte, though. It's more of like, to me, it's like a creamy matte that doesn't really end up like this one, um, like this one I had to put, uh, I had to put a lip, uh, moisturizer on so that I could put it on without my lips scraping off, because yesterday I was wearing Besame and there's mostly your matte, and they're a little hard to get off. Um, this one is, uh, I didn't open this yet, this is a a nice pink shade in the color Pink Paws. Let me see if I can open the, take the seal off. And this looks like a nudie pink. Hopefully it's not too bad because I'm not a fan of nudie pinks. And that's very pretty. It's a very natural pink, which isn't too bad. I am so sick of nudes, especially the ones that look like you're half dead. Everyone's wearing these gray nudes and like the nudes just are horrible looking. Even in, I don't know what it is. This one's called Kitty Purry, which is a purpley shade and I just snicked the top. And I think this is, I hope it's not broken. It's just a really pretty soft rose. Oh, can you see? Very, very pretty. It is so hot today, I can't stand it. And 
Okay, I think that's all my beauty stuff right now. So I will get down to my new my clothing items. I uh, got this cute little, yesterday we were at the Rims on the River we daily all day or thing with the car show and bands and everything. And my friend had a stall and she gave me this cute little handkerchief. And I had it tied around my purse yesterday because I didn't have a peg to put anything in. Um, I got this cute little skirt. It needs to be cleaned and it doesn't have a zipper. It's got a nice high-waisted band and it's just adorable. It's adorable. It's got some staining right here. I don't know if it's an iron mark or if it's just needs a nice wash and then it'll come out. Um, she told me about a brand called Retro that helps get stains out of vintage clothing. So I'm going to try to find that and see how that works. If not, I know Ivory Snow works very well. And then I got this amazing skirt that I think this is what I'll be wearing to the Rockabilly Resurrection in August. Just look at that pretty. This also needs to be clean, but it's just just gorgeous and it fits perfect thank god um this was only 20. it's a 1950s 60s circle skirt i don't know if i'll wear a crinoline in it i feel like for my body and being so thin that with my skinny legs putting a crinoline under one of these is going to make me look really funny like a stick wearing an umbrella I have to laugh at myself nowadays, but that's how I feel when I wear things who feel like that. Um, and then my lovely red bag I got at my favorite store in Wilmington, Second Skin Vintage. So if you live in the Wilmington area, go on Castle Street and um, she just has lovely any era you want is in there and her little accessories are just really cute. So I got this cute little red wicker bag. It was $30 and I just love it and it's the perfect red and it just goes great with my red sunglasses and this bag will look great with that skirt. It's just a plain I'm hoping to have a smaller camera by then so that way if I wear that skirt I can use this bag and I won't have to have that big, my big camera and my leopard print bag to carry everything in because they have lots of vendors at that weekend and I'm hoping this year I get to buy a lot. <laughs> okay so we had met Ashley that weekend past because they had canceled the um, rims on the river that weekend because it had downpoured like crazy. So we still went to Wilmington anyway and decided to hang out and do some antiquing. And I got this cute little, I have a nice, I have all different sets of barware from the 50s and I don't have a, like a proper shaker. And this was only $6. I don't know if it's an actual vintage one or if it was a replica, but I need it. It's got the measurements for different drinks on air and it's just a little glass and it came with the strainer so that when you're pouring your ice, your drink into your glass, your ice cubes aren't falling out into your glass. Um, then we oh went God. to, so in the same antique store we bought, I saw a Haywood Wakefield corner table. Um, for $125 and I was like oh my goodness we have to get this one because it's hard enough where I live to find um, really nice vintage pieces I have to usually travel other places to find nice things and usually when I do find um, Haywood Wakefield sets or pieces they're extremely expensive because I mean they still make them 
but they don't make the originals anymore. So I will post a link for the website that I have that you can buy the same kind of style, but they no longer do the original pieces. But anyway, I was super excited. My husband got it for me as an anniversary gift and it's in my uh, living room right now and it's just so pretty. Um, I will post, I will clip, put, insert the clip of it in this video. Um, I'm just really excited. I'm trying not to buy furniture and things like that in case we, when we decide to move, I'll have a better idea of how I want each room to be done and everything. So I'm trying not to like, overdo it when I go antiquing. I try to stick to small things like makeup tubes and like lipstick tubes and head vases and everything but I can't help myself sometimes but that was I felt a really good deal. I just wish they would have had a, another one to go with it but I was able to get what that one luckily so I'm excited about that. And the next thing I got two pairs of shoes. Um, I'll start with the ones I got from work because I always struggle finding the perfect ballerina flats that don't look so baby doll modern. And we had these in, these were only $12.99. I got a seven and a half because they run kind of skinny. And even though I'm a seven, they run small and I, didn't want a chance wearing these during the summer somewhere all day and then my feet swell up and then you've got your the the seam from the shoe around your foot <laughs> but these were really cute little pointed black flats I bought a seven and a half they have a nice cushion inside but they're it's kind of really thick so I don't know I might wear this to like something in the evening where I'm there in the evening and not an all day thing, but they are very nice and they will go with a lot. And I, I got these seven and a halves too. I don't know what the, and they're a little bit too big for me, especially in the width of the shoe, but they were the only pair and I really wanted them. So I got these at Ross. They were, oh, I took the tag off. They're probably about the same price as the ones I just showed you, but look at the cute um, checkered print detail. It's just really cute. So these were really nice. And then my friend, and now I'm going to get onto the houseware. I've only got three things. I went to Ross specifically for this item because my friend posted on Instagram a photo of two of them, and she said, Ross has vase heads and I was like no way I was like she's pulling a prank and I went straight to my Ross and they didn't have any so then I was sulking all day because I really really wanted it they're very very cute and I was like man I never get lucky like that everyone finds these cute things at the Goodwill and thrift stores and I go and I find nothing but one or two items and it's just frustrating. So I had gotten my hair done um, the week after and on my way home there was a Ross on my way home. So I stopped at that one and I went straight to the home decor section and right where <laughs> it was funny because I didn't see them at all. I was just like no they don't have them either. And I look to the right and it's like all the little Buddha statues and in the middle, sitting there by herself, was the lovely little vase head, exactly like the one my friend found herself. Um, it's not perfect, her little eyelash isn't level with her line for her lashes. She's got two different shaped eyebrows which a lot of vase heads are like that though, they're not extremely perfect. Um, the paint on this isn't um, all the way, <laughs> I don't know, but I really like her and she's a very large vase head um, compared to the a lot of the ones I have that are 50s and stuff. They're a lot smaller, but this one's a nice size. I think I may use her for some more makeup brushes because my little 
vase sit hand thing is running out of room. I don't know what they were doing with her hair here. It, to me, it looks like straw in a bundle and they didn't paint her little accent. Um, but it's still really cute and I, I'm really impressed with her little hair flower. I just, I was really excited and she was only $5.99. So if you go to Ross, check their home decor section and see if you can find one. I don't know if it's, a, if it's something they're going to get for a while or if it was just a random piece of pottery that they had in their section, but I'm excited I got it. And then from where I work, I found this um, little piece of art in the, the art, uh, like, framing section. And it had me written all over it, and I like to think it was Audrey Hepburn. And, um, oh my god, why can't I remember it? I'll post the name of the movie on the bottom. <laughs> but... Look at how cute this is. She's got a little dog and her little pants and then her hair is just, it's just perfect. This was, um, I think $12.99 and I, we just finished doing the spare bedroom so this is going in there. And then the other day I found this and this was also $12.99. It's a little bit dirty probably from people banging stuff on it. But she also has a little dog, but her skirt is just amazing. I just love it. They have another one. It's um, a girl like her, but it's got like a big cup of coffee as the main part of the photo. And I'm trying to decide if I want to get that just so it'll go with these, but I haven't decided yet. Um... I think that is it for my haul. I don't see anything else. <laughs> so I will end it there. Um, I will try to edit my video today and my vlog so that I can get some, one of them posted for you. Um, I did take some video clips of my husband's band and um, another band. There was four bands, but... <laughs> I, I did a lot of walking around and then when the pinup contest started I wasn't I was too focused on that so I missed a couple bands and everything so I will post some clips of them playing and I will try to catch up and I hope you guys are having a great week.